Hi, this is Dale O'Shields, pastor of Church of the Redeemer in Gaithersburg, Maryland. Thank you for joining me for our devotional time today and just believing this is going to be a fantastic day for you and a fantastic week for you and praying that uh, you'll have just an amazing opportunity to show God's love to people today and experience God's love in your own life. I want to talk to you this week about some things that uh, you and I need to be on guard against in our spiritual journey that can keep us from experiencing the fullness God has planned for our future. And uh, uh, to understand this is a story in the Old Testament that really illustrates uh, some of what I'm going to be talking about this week. It's the story of the children of Israel when they were about to enter into the Promised Land and, of course, how uh, God called Moses to send 12 spies to check the land out. And the spies came back, and 10 of the spies had a very uh, negative report uh, about the land, even though they believed it was a beautiful land. They didn't believe they could take it. And then, of course, two of them, Joshua and Caleb, uh, the Bible said they had a different spirit about them. They, they had a spirit of confidence in God, confidence in who God was and what God could do. And, of course, the difference between the 10 and the 2 was that the the 10 were kept out of the promised land and 2 entered. Uh, Their decision that day, uh, their response to the opportunity God gave them, determined their destiny and their future. Their negativity kept them from entering into their future. I want to talk to you about that just for a moment. You know, if you're not careful, negativity can enter into your life again. It can affect all of us. It doesn't take much before we begin to get a negative spirit about us and we begin to see life through the I can't, it's not going to happen perspective rather than God can, we can with his help and power. And that's exactly what happened to these these spies, these 10 spies. They said, you know what, it's a beautiful land, but we can't do this. We, we don't have the ability. And, and they slipped into this mindset of negativity that kept them out of God's promises for them. And I just want to challenge you today to stop and think about how you think. Stop and think about how you speak. Are you more negative than positive? Are your words and thoughts really reflective of the greatness of who God really is? Do you think the the I can't way versus the I can way, the we can't way versus the we can way, uh, has, has there been a transformation in you that says, with God, I know that all things are possible. Are you positive or are you negative? Drive the negativity out and believe that God cares about you and that God is able to help you make it through.